Classic Restos is proudly brought to you by Shannon's, insurance for motoring enthusiasts. Hare and Forbes Machinery House, Pace Farm, Hero Hoists, and Martin's Panel Masters. Sometimes when it comes to classics, it's not always about four wheels. Today, it's about two wheels. It's Ducati, it's the Concourse de Elegance, and it's what you're about to see next on this week's Classic Restos. Like a fine wine, the aromatic essence of mechanical fleur never goes out of vogue with the presence of Ducati. This annual event typifies the product so well, designed and built by leading Italian engineers and mechanical facilities. Ducati has its own sound, Ducati has its own stance, and Ducati is also a mark that is respected by other bike brand enthusiasts. These are the world's most attractive motorcycles, the result of a deep commitment to racing competitions. They are the purest expression of refined skill and an unmistakable design. Ducati is proud to represent Italian industry. The essence of Italian style shows through the design of each bike. They feature sinuous, seductive and flexible lines, showcasing a permanent, timeless quality that sets an unsurpassed standard of benchmark. Ducati bikes are enjoyed in over 60 nations throughout the world. From early ages, these models can dominate the dreams of the most ardent motorcycle enthusiasts. Like the United States of America may celebrate Route 66 from 1926, Italy celebrates Ducati. And today we celebrate the Ducati 2018 Concourse d'Elegance. And moving through the 2018 Ducati Concourse d'Elegance. How are you, Sanya? Oh, very well, thanks, Fletch. That is good. You've got a 2009 bike. This is a this is a little bit of a poser, this one, because what's going on here, Sanya? We've got a Yamaha bike, but you've got Ducati stickers on it. Uh, it's a Ducati wannabe. You've got to love that. <laughs> I also love the fact that they let her through the gate. <laughs> Um, they did, but um, you know they're they're great people, and they take us in, even though we're not Ducati owners. Isn't that lovely? This it's even uh, it's spelt different to how Ducati is usually spelt. It is, and and hence why it's a wannabe. So it's not the real thing, and so therefore it's not spelt like the real thing. You can't even get the spelling right. No, that's correct. Now, on the serious note, uh, do you do you ride yourself or your pillion? I'm a pillion. Um, I personally don't have the nerves to ride myself. Um, but when, I, when other people ask me whether I ride or not, yeah. I say, yeah, look, I don't have the nerves to ride myself. Yeah. But then they look at me and they look at the bike and they say, what, you've got the nerves to ride this thing? <laughs> I say, I do actually, and yeah. it's not scary at all. Okay, Sanya, will you stay safe and see you back here next year? Thanks, Fletch, I will. You Thank will. you. Here we have a one-off collectible motorcycle hand-built by V2 Australia to showcase the launch of the Retorno twin engine now in production. To tell us more, here's Brooke. Uh, Fletch, this is the um, Emila Evo that we built to showcase our, the, the engine that we build uh, here in Australia. Um, really, really special engine that was built by the NCR and the Ducati factory um, sort of late 70s to do endurance racing. Mm -hmm. The engine was never produced uh, commercially. It was only ever built for racing and it was used for the Halewood bike in 78, which won the Isle of Man. Yes. Well, he won the Isle of Man in 78. Yes. So they only built, we think, about 20 of these engines. I was very, very fortunate in procuring the casting patterns and all the drawings uh, for the engine and we've brought it back to Australia and we're now producing the engine for people to build specials and we're actually producing a Halewood bike which is another story but 
Uh, this bike was the first one we built um, and it went, uh, it went to America uh, for promotional um, use uh, at the Barber Festival two years ago and Jay Leno tested it on, on his show and, um, and we brought it back and it, and it belongs to a, a chap here in, in uh, Australia and we've got it here to, to show people. It's pretty cool, Brooke, to think we've, we've got a, a replica right behind us or right beside us, uh, the exact bike that used to race at the Isle of Man. What, what an incredible race of endurance that is. That is that's, that's another level, that stuff, isn't it? That is... I, I was there, I was there um, four weeks ago and I've never been there before other than to read about it. And you have to go there to appreciate it. It, it, is, it is quite incredible. Brooke, tell us a little about yourself. How many years you've been in the bike industry? I've been I've been involved with these motorcycles for forty odd years. Uh, my brothers were the New Zealand importers and distributors, late sixties, uh, when I was a ten year old, and yeah, about ten. <laughs> and uh, I've been I've been involved with them ever since. That's it's, it's a passion. Yep. And, and it's become it's become a life. Brooke, you've obviously got decades of advice. Uh, people want to contact you, find out more information. How uh, how do people contact you? Well, we do have a website. Um, well, go on, give it a plug. I'll, I'll let you have a plug. It, it's v2.com. Um, and 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 if you go to v2.com, you will you'll be able to contact me or or the business, and and you can yeah. find out anything you need to know. So, Brooke, the perfect bike for you as a classic, if you could choose any bike out of any bike that you know of, what one would you go for? What type? Well, my, my passion is, is this 90-degree V-twin engine, and I've always wanted to build my own version of it, yeah. which is what this is. Yeah. And so, so a 90-degree V-twin motorcycle is very special in the way that it feels, the way that it rides, there's there's some act, there's actually some mechanical reasons for that, yep. some engineering reasons. Yep. Um, a 90 degree V twin has a perfect balance, which yes. most people don't realise. And when they ride one, they they go, gee, that 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 feels really neat, and and that's why because they are a very very special engine. Good on you, Brooke. Thank you for uh, coming on to the 2018 Ducati Concourse d'Elegance and being uh, well bringing such a main feature to today's show. Thank, Thank you, Brooke. You. Thank you. Thank you very much. My passion for cars began when Nana and Pop bought their new Toyota Crown. It was Nana's, really. She loved that car. We went everywhere in it. My passion now is just the same, even though my cars are a little different. I've still got Nana's car, couldn't part with it. And I reckon if she was here today, she'd be insured with Shannon's too. Call Shannon's on 13 46 46. Shannon's, insurance for motoring enthusiasts. How would you like to double your garage space and work on your cars easily? Well, bring in your own hero with a Lift King hoist. Easy to install models in one, two and four post styles. Check the very nifty Spider 2500 portable mini scissor lift. Hero hoists are either Oz certified or carry the Euro CE, your guarantee of quality construction and reliability. I regularly stand under my Lift King, so when you need a bit of a lift, why don't you go stand under yours? Martin's Panel Masters has three modern accident repair centres. They service Melbourne's inner, outer east and the fast growing south east corridor. Your vehicle will receive the best from state of the art repair equipment finished beautifully from computer based paint mixing systems. Finished in Australian compliant spray booths. Martin's Panel Masters, located at Fern Tree Gully and Berwick, also Box Hill Panels. Heron Forbes Machinery House has been family owned and operated for over 85 years and it's easy to see why. Planning on welding? Look at these welding tables and clamps, air compressors and different air tools, sandblasting cabinets, through to spray guns. Everyone is welcome at Machinery House. There are competitive freight rates around Australia and you can buy online at machinerywhouse.com.au. So remember, Hare and Forbes has the range. With me now, the man we blame, the club president of the Ducati Owners Club of New South Wales, Vinnie B. How are you, buddy? I'm very well, Fletch. Thanks very much for coming on out. Are uh, you enjoying the day? 
Absolutely. Now, last year was the first time for Classic Restos to be here. Obviously, the second year. Thanks for having me back. Oh, we really appreciate your support. It means an awful lot to us. Thank you. That's OK. It means a lot to me as well, because watching at home, you're seeing this episode first on Classic Restos. That means a lot to me as well. Now, a great roll-up of bikes yet again for 2018, Vinny. Absolutely. We've got bikes from 1914 all the way through to 2018. Can't get better than that. I can't wait to interview that guy. What a, what a piece of apparatus that is. Oh, isn't it? Yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing how they start it up. It's a work of art. I, almost back in the day, they must have to get it going at three o'clock in the afternoon, ready for work the next day. <laughs> I think you're probably right. And they're very temperamental. Now, how are we looking for numbers this year as opposed to last year, Vinny? Oh, it's probably so we're about double. You know, um, everybody's enjoying the fact that we're on grass this year yep. um, and everybody's enjoying the fact that we're doing full concourse judging for the um, the older bikes. There's all also so much racing history here as well. There's some great names here today as well, so it should make for a very interesting episode. Mate, it takes you 12 months like every event organiser, a car show, truck show, a bike show. Um, hats off to you, mate. The, the club, yet again, has done an amazing job this year. Oh, yes. I mean, there's an awful lot of people that um, help us put together, but you're right, and thank you for reminding me. Jim Skaysbrook, Brooke Henry, and Clayton King. Just legends in their industries, and it's such a privilege to have them here. And, of course, you, Mark. And I didn't pay you too much to say that. <laughs> you say that again. Now, thank you. <laughs> thank you very much, Vinny. Now, just quickly, about Jim. Now, we've got a motorcycle racer here that has raced the Isle of Man. Now, that is a huge accolade on anyone's CV. Yeah. Oh, look, absolutely. The guy used to race with Mike the Bike Halewood, and um, between you and me, was actually faster, but don't tell anybody. And he's here with us. And if you've been around the Isle of Man, yeah. it's just unbelievable what he's done. And I encourage everybody to get a copy of his book because it's a great read as well. Awesome stuff, Vinny. I'll let you get back to it. It's nice to catch up with you again, mate. Vinny's the sort of guy that he keeps in touch on Facebook. And don't forget, if you've got Facebook, go to Classic Restos, like the page, and you can keep in touch with uh, all the episode links there. And, uh, mate, again, thanks for your support throughout the year, and uh, we'll see you back here in 2019. Absolutely. Thanks, Fletch. Really appreciate it, mate. Thank you so much. You're welcome, mate. Thank you. Okay, with me now, ex Ducati racer Jim Skaysbrook. How are you, Jim? Good, thank you, Fletch. That's, that's why, mate, you go back, you've got tremendous history riding right beside Mike Halewood. Yes, uh, started back in 1977 when, through a series of fortunate events, fortunate for me, uh, I was able to team up with Mike for the Castrol Six Hour Race in 1977 on a 750 SS Ducati. Um, we, uh, despite not taking it particularly seriously, we did quite well. We finished sixth outright. Uh, we also rode in the Adelaide Three Hour Race twice together and the subsequent year, the 78 year, we uh, we were in the six hour race again but the 77 year was great, 78 year not so great. What an incredible time though, the 70s. You must have uh, you must have so many stories when you wind the clock back. Yeah, when you look back at it now, everything was so laid back and, you know, not anywhere near as serious as things are to these just, days. Just not as commercialised. No, no, absolutely not as commercialised. In fact, uh, you know, when Mike was, was racing in Australia, even for the six-hour race and him being a nine times world champion at the time, the team that put the thing on had trouble getting sponsorship, yep. which to these days they'd fall over themselves to do it. But, uh, yep. um, yeah, they it was only quite a very low-key effort yep. uh, against some pretty serious efforts. So that's what made us quite proud of what we did. Now, tell us about the bikes back in the 70s, what they were like performance-wise, the way they handled. What were they like in race in race mode? Well, from the Ducati point of view, um, they were, of course, up against the Japanese bikes, which were usually four cylinders, more sophisticated, whereas the Duke Ducatis were built on, on passion more than anything else. Um, the Dukes were... They weren't the easiest bike in the world to ride, the very long wheelbase, um, ground clearance problems, um, particularly at circuits like Amaru Park. Um, but this crowd loved them, they made the right noise. What's so unique with the pattern of the Ducati engine is the low revs, buckets of torque and that sound that only Ducati has. Yeah, that's right, V-twin sound is always unique and uh, you know, Ducati seems to be even more unique for some reason or other, but they've, uh, yeah, they did have stacks of torque. Um, I rode our 
the same bike, the 750 SS at Bathurst for the Australian Grand Prix in 78, and I found up the mountain, it was just tremendous. Um, not so good going around the corners, but yeah. certainly going up the hill. Jim, it's amazing talking to you. So you can't get better than this. Uh, a guy back in the 70s racing the bikes first hand, and, and, and we hear it from the experience of, of these types of guys who could talk all day. Jim, thank you very much, mate. Thanks, Fletch. Pleasure. Thank you. Well, here we are at the grand final, the Ducati Concourse d'Elegance, but we have a 1914, a Whiting. This is an extraordinary bike, Alan. Yeah, yes, it is indeed. Um, built by an Australian in London in 1914. Patents taken out for the rear springing frame, sprung frame, as well as the front, but then the back. Uh, taken out in August 1914 in England and in America and granted next year 1915. So is this the first sprung bike? It is the first patented sprung bike. There may be some others, I don't know, but uh, this is the, the number one. And even now, if you're referring to rear springing on motorbikes, they have to check back to the patent on this one. Unbelievable. And leaf springs at that. We still make vehicles today with leaf springs. Leaf springs are much better than coil springs, actually. They're much softer and easier to control. Yeah. This particular bike was tested out by the British War Department, but of course it was totally unsuitable for war use. They needed something cheap and simple, whereas this would have been a luxury bike if it had gone into production. Alan, we're talking 1914. Yeah. Uh, I was talking to your, your son earlier, Julian, telling me that 30, 40, 45 miles an hour, if you took that into account in 1914, that was, uh, that, was, that, was, that was a quick speed. <laughs> yes, yes, you're quite right about that. The roads conditions were very bad. A lot of horseshoe nails to give you punctures, which can lead to unpleasant moments when you have beaded edge tyres, which is the type of tyre on this bike. Okay, now we look at uh, the aesthetics of the bike too. Very practical in terms of the, the, the quality too of the sewn leather seat. We've got a practical handlebar system. It's meant to do the job. Archaic by today's standards, but let's face it, the bikes today wouldn't be where they are. Any, any vehicle would not be where they are today without these early prototypes. Indeed. Now, Alan, the displacement of the engine, 500 cc's, 1914, well, even today, 500 cc's, it's not as though because it's so old it was a small engine. Uh, in those days, motors did not give out the same amount of power as they do nowadays, so you needed a bigger engine to get a relatively small amount of power. Yes. Uh, the design of the engine, they were mostly side valves. They used to plod along. They had a lot of low RPM torque, yes. but not much high speed. All right, Alan, thank you so much for your time. It's a lovely example. Obviously, it's the only one here at the Concourse de Elegance here for Ducati 2018 at Club Marconi. Um, thank you so much for bringing it along. I love the embellishments, um, the, the, the shiny, bright work, the, the black paint work. The restoration is beautiful. Congratulations, Alan. Thanks very much, Fletch. You're welcome. Very much enjoyed talking with you. There you go. All right, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. I spend a lot of time out here. The RT Charger's the real deal. An E49. Remember A Charger? I've always got projects on the go, so Shannon's laid up cover helps protect my restorations. I'm Mopar through and through. It's a passion Shannon's understands. I wouldn't insure my cars and bikes with anyone else. Shannon's, insurance for motoring enthusiasts. Call 13 46 46 for a quote. How would you like to double your garage space and work on your cars easily? Well, bring in your own hero with a Lift King hoist. Easy to install models in one, two and four post styles. Check the very nifty Spider 2500 portable mini scissor lift. Hero hoists are either Oz certified or carry the Euro CE, your guarantee of quality construction and reliability. I regularly stand under my Lift King, so when you need a bit of a lift, why don't you go stand under yours? Martin's Panel Masters has three modern accident repair centres. They service Melbourne's inner, outer east and the fast growing south east corridor. Your vehicle will receive the best from state of the art repair equipment finished beautifully from computer based paint mixing systems. Finished in Australian compliant spray booths. Martin's Panel Masters, located at Fern Tree Gully and Berwick, also Box Hill Panels. If you have a restoration project, Hair and Forbes has the tools that you need. 
shrinker stretchers, dollies, mallets, bead rollers, profile gauges, professional panel restoration kits, and so much more. Now I warn you, enter at your own risk because you will end up buying something. So come along to your Cap City store or browse and buy online at machineryhouse.com.au because Heron Forbes has the range. With me now, Matt Mackay, the CEO from Royal Rehab. How are you, Matt? Well, Fletch, yourself? Good, mate. Good to see you along. Fantastic. Thanks for having me. That's okay. Now, this particular Concourse de Elegance, the Ducati Club of New South Wales, how long have they been supporting Royal Rehab? So, since 1976, so 42 years they've been looking after us. Uh, absolutely amazing. We, we, we couldn't do what we do without them. Uh, our biggest benefactor. That is sensational, hence the interview. Fancy donating since 1976. I, I think in this day and age that's a, uh, an incredible accolade, isn't it? it look, it, it, the, the dedication that the guys have for the club um, and to caddy itself, I mean, what they do for us, as I said before, yep. we just can't live without them. Obviously, too, Matt, uh, on that note, uh, what you guys do at Royal Rehab, wow, that's beyond words as well. It is. Our team, uh, the people we look after, traumatic brain, spinal injury and people with disability, uh, we've got the best team, I think, in the world that, that look after these people and um, uh, we've been doing it for 120 years and uh, we've got a long way to go to keep going and look after these guys. How are we looking for the future with technologies and finding new remedies for things, research? Yep. How does that all look? Yeah, look, we're, we're, we're at the forefront. We do a lot of research as well um, and heavily involved in that. Uh, look, it's a long, it's, it's, it's a marathon, it's not a sprint, but um, we're committed to that and uh, I'm sure as, as we get on, it, uh, things will get better. Hats off on the behalf, mate, to your department and everybody that works for you, Royal Rehab. It's, uh, it's incredible what you guys do. No worries. Thanks, please. If you have a classic bike, have it insured with Shannon's. And if you have anything to do with a classic bike, classic car or a classic truck club, make sure that it's listed with the Shannon's Club for all the world to see. For more information, visit shannons.com.au. Okay, next bike as we move along, I had to do this. Time for an original bike. How are you, Lionel? I'm good, thanks, Fletch. Yeah. That's good, mate. 1974 Ducati. Wow, what's the story here? Well, it was originally my father's, um, and he, when he finished riding it, he put it into a shed. It wasn't a real good shed either. It was a dirt frame, a dirt floor shed, so there was a little bit of corrosion in the spoke area when I first took it out of the shed and decided to put it back on the road. But... Uh, I did minimal work to it because I, I wanted to keep it original. So Lionel, tell us about your dad. Well, my dad originally owned the bike. Um, he rode it until he just couldn't uh, conveniently ride it anymore and put it in a shed. So it deteriorated a little bit, which meant that when I pulled it out of the shed, I had to do a little bit of work to get it back going. What happened when I got it going again, I contacted dad on the phone. And so where was you? Your dad was living somewhere else? My dad's 91. He was living in a, uh, a hostel in a nursing home at, uh, at Camden. I got him to listen to the phone and I started the bike up so that you could hear the bike start because he hadn't heard it for about 15 years. The nurse came in to give him some eye drops while I was on the phone and he went sort of quiet. She picked up the phone and asked who it was and I told her who it was, she knew me and she asked me what I'd done to Dad because Dad was laying on his bed, tears, sobbing because he was so, so happy about the bike being back on the road again. Three days later, I took it up to show him in person and he was so thrilled about that. What do you say about that? That's some of the most remarkable stuff that you hear with these classic vehicles of uh, what people do for fathers uh, or relatives that used to own them. Um, imagine what they think or what they feel when they see that emerge. How's the old girl still right? goes like it always did. It was always a very nice thing to ride. It's very comfortable, yeah. the saddle is good, yep. the handlebars are in the exact right position for your hands to just flop on them, yep. so it, it rides nicely. The engine's got plenty of power. Still go good? Oh yes, certainly does. How cool is that? The barn fine. Get it out, remove the timber spokes and put some new wire ones in there and <laughs> yeah. away we go. Lionel, thanks for your time, mate. My and pleasure. Thanks, My Fletch. pleasure, Fletch. Thanks for turning up. Oh, always turn up. And this is what it's all about, preserving these classics. Whether they're restored or left patinaed, keep up the good work, mate. You're living the dream. I am living the dream, yeah. Thanks, Fletch. No worries, mate. Cheers, mate. You too. Well, that's a wrap. 
just some of the 2018 Ducati Concourse to Elegance here at Club Marconi, west of Sydney, New South Wales. If there's a bike show for 2019, this one here, well, the Ducati Owners Club of New South Wales will make you feel more than welcome if you choose to come along. As I say at the end of every episode of Classic Restos, until next week, no matter where you're watching the show from, please ride and drive safe. I'm Fletch, and I thank you very much for watching. You can like and follow us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash classic restos TV and watch catch up episodes at shannons.com.au. Classic Restos is proudly brought to you by Shannon's, insurance for motoring enthusiasts. Hair and Forbes Machinery House, Pace Farm, Hero Hoists and Martin's Panel Masters.